Hi kids! Today we will learn the main causes of water pollution. So let's get started. Kids, water pollution is a contamination of water bodies like lakes, rivers, streams, oceans, and even the underground water. And this pollution makes the water in water bodies unsafe for use. About 11% of people of the earth don't have access to safe drinking water. Now we will learn what are the main causes of water pollution. Most factories, industries, manufacturing units release a lot of waste directly into the nearby water bodies and pollutes it. Even the smoke released by chimneys of factories too reaches the water along with polluted rain and so pollutes water. Each year, the world generates about perhaps 5 to 10 billion tons of industrial waste and much of which is pumped, untreated, into rivers, oceans and other waterways and it is the main reason behind the water pollution. Next is the sewage. Our earth has billions of people living on it and all are generating waste every day. And managing this waste is a very big problem for all of us. And out of that sewage waste is most difficult to manage. Sewage waste contaminates the water and most of the countries directly releases all its sewage waste into the water bodies. And water contamination due to sewage waste leads to diseases like diarrhea and cholera. And according to WHO, that is World Health Organization, water-related diseases can kill 135 million people by 2020. In case of developed countries, we have modern toilets that flush away the sewage waste to distant places and does not contaminate water sources near our house or our environment. But in case of undeveloped countries, a big percentage of people don't have access to modern flush toilets and their sewage waste pollutes their environment and water sources, which leads to diseases like diarrhea and cholera. But that's not all. Even in the case of modern countries, where there are modern flush toilets, sewage is disposed at some distant place, like it can be pumped into the sea or a river. So, it's too polluting the big water bodies. Sewage waste is pumped into the sea through big pipes, untreated, which contaminates the oceans and seas. Around half of all ocean pollution is caused by sewage and the wastewater. Next, it is household waste. Every person on this earth adds some pollutants to water, as utensils, clothes, and sheets are washed in every house using some kind of detergent and soap. People bathe using soaps and shampoos. All these soaps, detergents, and shampoos mix up in clean water and changes the clean water into dirty water. That ultimately reaches some water bodies through long pipes and contaminates the water. Highway runoffs. Highways are made up with a lot of toxic chemicals and there is spilled fuel, brake fuels, and other wastes and dust from the tires. All the waste and chemicals from the highway are washed away to the land next to roads or water bodies and contaminate them. It has been estimated that in one year, the highway runoff from a single large city leaks as much oil into our environment as a typical tanker spill. Pollution from heavy metals and chemicals. Another kind of toxic pollution comes from heavy metals, such as lead, 
cadmium, and mercury. Lead was once commonly used in gasoline. Though its use is now restricted in some countries, mercury and cadmium are still used in batteries. Main sources of heavy metal pollution are mining, chromium, salt manufacturing, leather tanning, lead acid batteries, e-waste, paints, fuel, combustion, and thermal power plants. The best known example of heavy metal pollution in the oceans took place in 1938 when a Japanese factory discharged a significant amount of mercury metal into Minamata Bay and that led to the death of so many fishes. Next is oil pollution. Our ocean and seas are a big victim of oil pollution. As a lot of oil is released into seas and oceans due to human activities, like oil spills from huge oil tanks and ships. Oil spills is a major problem because a huge quantity of oil is spilled at one location and is catastrophic for the marine life. That is, many species of fish, birds, turtles, and sea mammals. Oil pollution is not only a result of oil spills, but a lot of oil in seawaters comes from routine shipping. Oil that we use in our homes reaches seawater through waste water drains. Another source of water pollution is farming. Yes, farming. In the process of farming too, so many chemicals are used, like pesticides are used to kill pests, insecticides for killing insects, weedicides are there to kill the unwanted plants, fertilizers are there to make the soil more fertile. All these things contain chemicals that ultimately reaches the groundwater and pollute it and also some is washed away by the rain and reaches water bodies and thus pollutes the water. One more source of pollution is plastic. Plastic is one of the most common materials used these days almost everywhere we see plastic things. And the worst fact is that plastic is non-biodegradable, that is, Plastic does not break down or decompose easily as the other type of waste, so it's called non-biodegradable waste. And even when plastic breaks down, it releases toxic chemicals, so plastic waste survives for a very long time. Example, plastic bottles, bottle caps, or any plastic waste can survive for more than 400 years. In oceans or seas, the plastic waste like bottles, caps, keeps on traveling long distances and survives for hundreds of years. And their side effect is that if marine animals swallow plastic, it chokes them and they die. So kids, we learned some of the major causes of water pollution, but there are many more reasons than these. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!